In this video, we'll be learning how to make an AFK reward system that you see in a lot of popular games. And the reason why a bunch of popular games have these is because it makes Roblox think that there's like a bunch of players in your game, even though they're AFK. But regardless, it'll push your game up and make it more popular. So anyways, let's jump into it. So first of all, there is a model in the description. All you gotta do is click the blue button over here and it should be added to your um, Roblox Studio models. Then you wanna go into your main game. And side note, this is a game I'm working on and I'll probably add it, a link to it in the description by the time it comes out. Anyways, you wanna go to game settings places and you want to hit create and then click the three dots configure place rename it to whatever you want you can change the max players change any of this all I did was change the name you want to go to view hit asset manager double click on places then you want to control right click press copy ID to clipboard on the place you just created then you want to have some way to teleport the player to your afk world in this scenario i added a script and this is all you need inside it so you have you get the teleport service you replace these numbers with the with the id you just copied so just control v over that everything else is the exact same and when the game is actually published and you try it in the actual game it should teleport you in the studio it won't work however when you're testing it out at least anyways you're gonna um open asset manager you can double click on the place you just created and roblox studio will open that place up so you can edit it Okay, so first of all, you want to make sure you have like some sort of data store feature, and um, if you don't have it, you can easily find one online. Um, anyways, what you want to do is click on toolbox, and then add the model you just got from the link. Um, just click OK, X out of that. And then you're going to drag this into starter starter GUI. You can ungroup. And then everything should be here. What you're going to have to do is change money label script. You're going to have to replace dot money with whatever your currency is called so like in leader stats if my currency is called cash I'm gonna have to do that or if it's like robux let's say and then we're gonna create a script in server script service which actually I'm just gonna copy it. So just create a normal script. I called it player manager. All it does is it creates two um, int values. One is for the time played, which isn't actually how long they've been playing. It's, um, it just counts uh, like 60 seconds, let's say, and then it'll reset just to make sure we keep track of how long they've been in the game for for the certain amount of time and then we have another uh, int value for the money earned which will appear at this bottom section also so as you can see once 60 seconds is reached there will be a weighted probability of getting any of these items so if you want to change that, you have to go to 
AFK GUI, possible rewards. Actually, no, not possible rewards. You need to go to red frame, green frame, time left script. This is where basically everything is. Um, time delay is basically like if, if you want this in minutes, you're gonna have to change this to 60, right? So it'd be 60 seconds per minute. Um, if you want in seconds, just leave it in one. And that's basically uh, how much it'll increase by every like tick. And then reward time is what this number represents or the amount of seconds the player has to wait until it gets a reward. And you can change this to 60 for one minute. And if we scroll down over here, so uh, just to make it easier, I made it a whole numbers. So this 75 represents a 75% chance of um, getting $1, right? And then all you want to do to calculate the next probability is you subtract the next probability minus the one before it. So this will be a 25. No, sorry. Uh, 15. I can't do math. 15% chance of getting $5. And this will be a 7% chance. And then whatever is left will be for our $20, and this will be 3% chance, because 100 minus 97. Hopefully that all makes sense. Um, if you guys have questions, just let me know down in the comments, and let's check it out. Let's see if it works. So yeah, the bar eventually gets to the very right side. Oh, and let me go over one more thing. Okay, the last thing you need to change is this return to game button. So if you click on the return button, return a player script, you need to change this target place ID to your main game ID. And again, if you go to your main game, an asset manager which is view asset manager right click on the main game press copy ID to clipboard and then you just paste in your game ID and that is it so if you found this video helpful subscribe like and yeah I'll be making more Roblox content more frequently so yeah